Well, hello world. This is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Now, most recently, I um, had discussed with you that I was going to talk about uh, my favorite TV show, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, since um, that show has pretty well gone viral since um, uh, late 2010, and it is continuing to go viral, and uh, it is continuing to change, and it is continuing to amaze us. And it is continuing to disappoint us, and we are continuing to see all kinds of uh, unique and different characters, and we're starting to see sides of different characters, like um, last season we saw a completely different side of Discord, when we thought he was, um, thought he was just... Um, a uh, sinister uh, and evil villain in season two and then we found out that he was a lonely character that doesn't uh, have any friends and uh, he ma and made us wonder if he and Fluttershy would be a hot item as far as shipping goes but anyway um, here I am to talk to you about the reviews of uh, season four um, the highs and lows of the season so here we are Tomorrow is uh, the uh, finale, and the name of the finale is that uh, Princess Twilight Sparkles Kingdom. Now, um, the the episode is a two-parter, just like season one. And um, going back to uh, not season one, but episode one of season four, it seems like it seems only yesterday that season four was just starting where Twilight Sparkle had just earned her wings and uh, became transformed into an alicorn and uh, Discord was popping out of the bathtub, out of a bathtub uh, giving a reference to Aladdin's genie uh, singing winter wrap-up, winter wrap-up and uh, to, uh, to Rarity going to Manhattan and realizing that um, Winning wasn't always everything that she needed. Um, being with her friend, being there for her friends, was more important. To Fluttershy, and, um, and how we saw a whole a whole new side of her, where she became a vampire bat. To uh, to having our worst episode, um, ain't easy being breezies, where um, it you know it disappointed many fans like myself. I couldn't tell where, I, you know, if I was watching the Smurfs or My Little Pony. Either way, um, somewhere, I thought I heard them singing, la, 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 sing a happy song, la, 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 sing a happy song. <laughs> Either way, um, like myself, um, millions of fans across the world and in the United States were highly disappointed with that episode. Um, Okay, again, the episode had its its ups and downs. Um, one of the things that I'm going to highlight about the show, and I uh, noticed a pattern with Pinkie Pie. For the first half of the season, she was not just rambunctious, she was doing things that uh, creeped the living daylights out of me. And it wasn't what she said, she turned, it's just... She was just really, really, really creepy this season, and uh, she's gotten creepier. But as uh, the season wore on, I noticed that she started to calm down. Um, uh, I, and if you notice, we only had maybe one episode, actually two episodes featuring Pinkie Pie. Otherwise, she seemed to be overshadowed this season by um, by Cheese Sandwich and, and by her sister, um, her sister Mod Pie, who, by the way, I uh, like a lot better than Pinkie Pie, even though I am a known Pinkie Pie personality. I mean, um, I'll, I'll put, I'll put it out there. I can't stand that pony. She, I mean, yeah, she's beautifully drawn, but she gets on my nerves. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.